Are we ready to have fun? Have a fun time? Um, hi everybody, welcome to Room and Board. My name is Chris George, and today with me I have two incredibly special guests. My two favorite people oh, in the entire world. Straight up world. lying to yeah. your audience right now. <laughs> uh, right out of the at least for the past five weeks. But before we get into any of that, we have a sponsor for the channel, so they haven't given me a script yet. But we'll, when they do, it'll sound like this. Let me come up with something off the cuff to say about Kung Fu Poker. Kung Fu Poker is a free, beginner-friendly Texas Hold'em app that you can play anytime, anywhere, with 100% play money. Wait a minute, push that off screen. You get to compete with real players and enjoy the excitement of winning. Log in daily to unlock ad-free bonus chips, spins, and more. Because who doesn't love a poker game that's realistic for beginners to thrive? And you can also use the code CHRIS for 30,000 free chips, which seems like probably a heck of a lot of money and you'll never need anything else. Start to excel in your poker skills with Kung Fu Poker now. Well, why don't you introduce yourselves? We have... Hi, I'm Hilary Murkowski. I'm Chris's best friend in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, hi, I'm Megan Brown, and I am his arch nemesis. It's perfect. My two favorite people. Uh, for those of you who don't know, who maybe you, you're new to the channel, uh, I, I'm also an actor, so we have been on contract for the past pretend, five he weeks. He likes to pretend things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like to play pretend. <laughs> um, we've been on contract for the last five weeks, and so I naturally brought up a whole bunch of games because I, I gotta have my fix of games. But uh, what was exciting to me is that uh, I've, I've known Hillary for a little while. I just met Megan on this contract and I forced these games upon them. You really and, did. And you only forced like half of them on me. <laughs> there you forced was all of them on me. Yeah. <laughs> there was some <laughs> consent on en route to the yeah. contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't allowed to eat. <laughs> I, until I played a board game. It's true, right? You, you right. gotta do, you have to do what you have to do for the yeah. YouTube content creation. But what, what's really exciting to me is I would describe both of you as sort of newer gamers, right? You're not mm -hmm. as entrenched in the tabletop board gaming scene as perhaps uh, I am or, no one or, is. The no, rest, no one is. <laughs> or the or a regular viewer might be. Uh, yeah. And so what I thought was kind of cool is I brought up a bunch of games that I thought would hit well with newer gamers, but I thought uh, we, we managed to play uh, at least up to 10 of them for each each person. And I just have to say too, like, I, n newer for sure, beginner, yes, but like, I've played board games for years, yes. just not to the extent that you have. Yeah, so I, I am way newer. Yeah, you have more experience than I do. Crazy Eights is my That's game. your jam. And Mickey Mouse Yahtzee, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> A classic. That's where I am. Uh, on the scale. Sorry, I just had to come for no, you with that no, one. No, no, no. Yeah. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Um, why I would love for you to to describe your experience with games and like before this, before this contract, and 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 not including any of the games that we're talking about, in mm. case some new favorites may have arisen. Um, what 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 was your experience with with board gaming and like what did you like to play? But do, but leave any that I brought off the list because we'll talk uh. about them during the during the video. Okay, so like. Uh, the weekend I met Chris, he made us all play Avalon, so... And I didn't bring Avalon specifically by your request. Yeah, he was like, what game yeah. should I bring? And I was like, not Avalon, because I cried. But um, you were a big Dominion fan? I was a, Yeah, during theater school, played a lot of Dominion and Seven Wonders. My mm -hmm. high school ex-boyfriend had the like big expansion pack of Dominion, so I played a lot of Dominion, and I owned Seven Wonders for years before that, and then... Has Matt been on the channel before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm also friends with Matt, who's been on this channel before. He was in the top five cottage board games, and I'm sure you'll see him again as yes, well. Yes, he's around. Um, and so being good friends with Matt and living near Matt, I often play other games. Like uh, I went through this period, we played a lot of Above and Below, which I just found out you have never played. I've never played, yeah. So we'll have to do that. Yeah. Um, it's been years since I played it. So yeah, I would, I would play lots of games like that. I asked Chris to bring one of my favorite games, which shall remain nameless until, until the time start, comes. Until we start the list. I can follow instructions. <laughs> um, and I can't think of, yeah, I, so I like games kind of like that. Yes. But I don't play them as regularly as you would. I'm a big fan of Crazy Eights too, though. So. Thank you. Yeah, so like, yeah, you're, you, you've been exposed to a decent amount of tabletop gaming through Matt because you live close to each other. Yeah. But you, you wouldn't own a whole bunch no. of games because you would rely on Matt for that. Exactly for that. that. I own yeah. Love Letters, mm -hmm. Seven Wonders, and Bananagrams. Nice. I love Bananagrams. 
Yeah. Bananas Graphics is great. And then and then Megan, uh, what was your what was your sort of uh, board game experience? Because when I asked you what your favorite games were, uh, you said something that you can play at a pub, right? That was yeah, kind of your I like, Oh, and Ticket to Ride. I love Ticket to Ride. Sorry. <laughs> Brain. Um, yes, I like uh, games that uh, you can play at, at a pub. I also come from a big, um, like, card game, like, Euchre. I'm a, my family's a big Euchre people, yep. poker, crazy eights, um, playing that on trains and buses and stuff a lot. Um, as far as, like, board games, um, I'm kind of, like, very juvenile and, like, yeah, I like Clue and Monopoly and... Uh, that kind of thing is, you know, we had all those growing up, which you enjoy I, fun. I enjoy fun, saying, is what I'm saying. Um, uh, recently, uh, obviously before uh, meeting you, I played a lot of um, kind of like escape room games, um, which some of them are really amazing and super, super fun, like puzzles and stuff like that, until there's a lot of math, and then I'm like, no! Um, or and then so some of them are really great, and then some of them are just a lot of reading, which I found to be kind of frustrating. But that's kind of that my... takes up too much time. It's too much time. Room, right? Also, when you're like with a bunch of people, and it's like read yeah, this yeah. novel, and I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I sit in the in the board game realm. Yeah, yeah. and I and I think it's it's just great great to talk about because this serves sort of as a as a bar for for, sure. for potentially if you're interested in int- introducing uh, all, all sorts of levels of of gamer to two new board games, mm. I feel like uh, the, the two of you provide a really nice range of sample size of like you've had you've had more experience. You, you're more yeah, familiar but I'm with, still like mechanics. a noob. But and you also uh, also one of your considerations on this contract mm-hmm. was to to play smaller games because you wanted to do other things as I well, did. right? Like yeah. that those I time constraints. We're in a beach town. I wanted to go to the beach. Right. So those time constraints also made for uh, I I think a really interesting yeah. layout of what we ended up playing and what got to the table. And so, what we kept end up playing. And what yeah. we kept playing. <laughs> kept playing. So I am really excited because I told them not to tell me their rankings. So I, I have a sense of what we kept on playing and what we didn't, uh, of what will be ranked where, but I'm personally really excited to see where where everything <laughs> looks. And I'm not, I think you'll be surprised. <laughs> I might be. Yeah, I might be surprised. be surprised. I'm hopeful. I'm really, I'm, I'm excited for yours because... Yes. I know you're uh, uh, like part of the joy of this for both of you was was teaching you new games and seeing seeing the discovery and seeing the joy or that the happened. anger or the anger <laughs> that was me, that was me. <laughs> um, yeah see, seeing either one of those things and and seeing how it played out anyway that's enough of the preamble let's get into the list uh, who how about let's start with uh, let's start with you Hillary because okay. we're gonna have your honorable mention Hillary actually only got to nine but your honorable mention is number ten right yes. Yes, and that is... my honorable mention is number 10, which I have played before and with you. Yep. So, okay, room and board. My honorable mention, number 10, is Everdell. I specifically requested Chris bring Everdell because I thought, oh, when it's rainy, we'll play it and we'll have time. Five weeks, we'll have so much time to play it. We didn't play Everdell. We didn't play Everdell. But Everdell is such a good but game. Everdell is yeah. such a good game, and I played it up at the cottage with... Chris and Matt, mm-hmm. um, and I it's just so felt funny. like, I know it's not that long of a game, but I just it's felt fun. like I didn't have the energy to actually play it, but it's beautiful, yeah. and I like it, and it's really fun, and I can't wait to play it again with you another time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll be exciting. So that's, that's the honorable number 10. Yeah. It's um, here. Where is it? It is here. It's, it's in that bag next is to you. Is it in this one? Yeah. Hang on. <gasps> there it is. Are you ready for it? Honorable mention. Oh, it is Number pretty. T- is it beautiful? Oh my god! Is and that And there's the many pieces. It's all about creating little uh, little creatures. You're, you're creating Why a little did we town. Why not play this? I'm saying the we, app. <laughs> we can play it tomorrow. <laughs> you want to play it tomorrow? Stay I'm, out. Tuned. I'm done. Done with this. It's, you it's should add a because... little caption if you guys actually do play it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, if it rains tomorrow, maybe I'll play it tomorrow. If but the, if not, I'm going to the beach. And the reason, the reason, like Everdell, I, I think really appeals because because of that visceral reaction, it's right? So like, pretty. It's, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at the little buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, it, it has, yeah. It's it's got great appeal. I thought it would hit the table, but a lot, also a lot of the time, we would finish up a show and then we'd come yeah. back. And then we play a quick game with something. Yeah, so and because Everdell takes around like an hour and a half to two hours usually. Oh, a, and it, yeah. I would say the first time we played, more. it was like two and a half hours. Oh. Two, by the time you set it all up, you explain it. It might everybody. be with, yeah, with more people. Yeah. It, it takes longer, but. Um, it was a larger group of us yeah. when we played. Yeah. yeah. So 
So that's, that's that. That's that. Right, we can just put it on the. We can put okay. it up there. As, as like sort this. Of, yeah, like front this. Frame. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, no, not like. I that. was like, can you even <laughs> see me? We'll there just stack them up so it's just like a. Hand okay, hand. got you. So we know. Uh, okay, Megan Brown, what's number ten? What's it, what's your least favorite? My game My least that favorite you ended game is the cockroach poker. I thought you'd say that. Yeah. It's over there. You it's can over here. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna be this this one. Not that it wasn't fun. It's just it's just my I had I'm meh. It I'll, was man, yeah. It I, was man. I, I'll play it again if someone was like, "Let's play it," but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask to play this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so, cockroach poker. I, I'm probably not gonna explain all the games because if you're watching this as uh, they know, you, they you, know, you we don't know, 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 but they but it's, know. it's like a bluffing game, basically. So, so the, the central mechanics are bluffing, and only one person loses. That's the mm -hmm. that's the, the general breakdown. But so we, we played a lot talking. of bluffing games, and out we of did. all the mm -hmm. bluffing games, this, this was, was the one where I'm like, no, I don't really know. Yeah, I never. I wasn't like, I want to do this again. It's, mm -hmm. it's weird. Cockroach, po cockroach poker hits differently depending on the night. Like, I yes, also, I, yeah. this also probably would have been my least favorite uh, experience that we've played, yeah. but I've had some great games where it's just like been rapid fire and it's I been super actually, fun. I think actually, if so. we had been at a pub, if we'd been yeah. out yes. and had a couple yeah. of beers and we were at a restaurant, we were at a pub and you pulled this out, mm -hmm. then I think I probably it would be up, would be up, up more. But the night we played it where we played another game. Yeah. Uh, this was the warm up game. This was yeah. the right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. I've kind of figured that would be your number 10. Yeah. Um, great. I'll put it over here. Yeah, yeah, because we'll have to gri we'll grab them and yeah. when Hillary references them. I know it's not Hillary's number nine because I know Hillary, I know what Hillary's <laughs> number nine is. Where is it? It's over there. Do you want to get it out? Uh, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Oh, you know? Yeah. My number nine is Hanabi. <laughs> it is, the idea of it is a great game. We only played it once. You were very you were tired. I was very tired. Yeah. yeah. And they all were like, gave me the clue that it, my cards were yellow. And then one turn later, they were like, what do you know about your cards, Hillary? And I was like, well, these are blue. And they're like, so I felt it like was an the conviction. idiot. It was the conviction <laughs> in your, I know that these three cards are blue. There was no blue yeah. clue ever in the yeah, whole entire day. No. It was just, <laughs> so I love the concept of it. I think it would be so much fun. I would happily play it again. When you're not tired. When I'm not tired, yeah. when I'm ready to go. It was like, yeah. Yeah. It I was fun. I... Okay, did I, I, I at, at a certain point in this game, did enjoy myself, but I didn't enjoy the overall experience because I felt <laughs> stupid. I, I think, honestly, for me, um, that elevated the experience for, for me. you guys. <laughs> because, because one thing I do love about Hanabi is playing it when you're tired and you're so focused on, you can't mm -hmm. see your own cards, you can see everyone else's cards. So you're so focused on everybody else's cards and trying to communicate stuff to them that when you eventually look back at your, your hand, you go, oh my God. I have no idea I what's happening. I forget everything yeah. that's been given to me. Absolutely And, and those are kind of like the, the funniest moments that you, you yeah. struggle against yourself in that regard. So I think it's, uh, I, I, I enjoyed it, but I also knew that you, you hated it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's I Hanabi. look forward to Hanabi redeeming itself, mm. is what yeah. I will say. <laughs> what's your number nine? My number, number nine is, uh, is, uh, Coop. Coop? Yeah. Mm. That's, that's number my number nine. nine. Hey. Uh, again, not that I didn't have a good time. This was yep. the first game we played That's together. True. I pulled it out on lunch. I was really trying yeah. to get it to us to play it every single lunch. And, uh, and it's, we played it, it happened for a few, few. lunches. Yeah. yeah. Super fun. It started my hatred towards you. Yeah. very heavily but that's gonna happen naturally right yeah. like that you're just happens it by took you spending, I know, spending that weeks long. with me i try yeah, yeah i mean your face alone, it was week but... one that we played it but yeah. yeah but yeah again uh not that i didn't like it i did like it i will totally play it again mm -hmm. happily play it anytime i just there were other ones that i just enjoyed more for various yeah. reasons yeah, yeah. but i think it's i still think it's a great game it's just number nine yeah i think i think this also kind of falls into that pub, pub yeah category, very that right? yeah yeah. Where where perhaps so, if it if you were out and yeah. had this, it but it was a great lunchtime game. It was a great like, hey, we have like twenty minutes. Let's do a couple Just rounds. A couple yeah. Rounds. What was also fun. nice about Coup too is like there was one day that I was like, I need to go get a coffee, but I'll join you for the next round. Yeah. So it, like we were, it wasn't like you had to commit for forty five yeah. minutes. Like it was. Yeah. You could eat lunch and then someone could go for a walk or run an errand yeah. and then come back and all of us are like, okay, one more round, one more round until yeah. 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 You speed and, coup, right? Yeah. Just... And also for me, as this being the introduction to your crazy world, um, <laughs> I think was really good. Oh, cool. Because okay, it great. was uh, 
difficult. Also, you're very good at explaining games, which I think helped me because I'm dumb. Uh, but you're not um, dumb. You're better it, it at was Hanabi a... than I am. So you're not <laughs> dumb. It's not far off. Um, <laughs> but it was, you know, it introduced me to like a card thing. It introduced me to the bluffing. Mm -hmm. It kind of like multiplayer. So I think that this was a really great. The different powers. The different powers, right. like keeping track of all of that. So there were a lot of elements to this game that uh, are, are used in multiple other games that we've played. And so, but very easy to learn in this game. It's, it's fast and fun. And yeah, it's easy to get better the more that you play. So I think. This being the first game that we played out of all of them was made me want to play more. Mm. Yeah. So well done. Cool. Important. Cool. That's great. So if you're yeah, trying to great. bring That's other good. friends into your cult, this bring Koo. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, great. I, yeah. I love it being at number nine. Yeah, I feel like the only one that I know didn't really hit well was Hillary with Hanabi. I feel like yeah, generally, generally it, it was all positive experiences. Mm -hmm. It's just le layers, levels yeah. of positive experiences. And with Hanabi right? too, I was like, this is a cool game. It's, you know, I can step outside of this horrible experience that I'm having and think of myself in another situation and be like, this could be fun. It just wasn't. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> what was more fun? What was just slightly more fun than Hanabi at number eight, Hillary? <laughs> That's on the bottom there. It's on the bottom. Oh, cockroach poster. So, okay. Poster. poster. I did say the poster. The good old cockroach poster. So, there might be a cockroach poster. So, so I, I will say this, like, I don't love bluffing games. I used to think I don't like bluffing games. I don't like bluffing games with Chris because he's too good at it. And fair. I don't believe he words a, a word you say in real life. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Um, so it's a, the lines <laughs> it's are blurred. It's, it's confusing. Um, cockroach poker. Yeah. It's, I had a very similar experience. Like if I was at a pub and blah, 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 like that was, that would have worked for this. It was like, it was just, it was fine. They also all ganged up on me. So I hope everyone on room and board feels really bad for me at this point because it sounds like you guys are just being, am I allowed to swear? Sure. To me. I'll believe that. Uh, <laughs> uh, between this one and Hanabi, like not actually though. I love them. You're both wonderful humans. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was just like, this is fine. Yeah, I think I think Cockroach Poker again. It was just mm -hmm. it was just mediocre. Honestly, yeah. I, w I wasn't very I wasn't per personally very thrilled at how yeah. at how it panned out and how it was received. So yeah, it's not it's not surprising to me that it is that it yeah. is fairly lower because mm -hmm. I was just like ah oh, that like that was probably one of my least fun times playing Cockroach Poker. And we just also had so much fun playing other playing games. other stuff. Yes, yeah. it that just it's like the, the bar. High yeah, it's like the bar is so high yeah. that it just yeah. yeah yeah. All right, number eight. Number eight is. Hanavi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. down there for you too? Yeah. I thought you might like it more. I, again, I actually really, really, really enjoyed this game yeah. and I kind of want to play it more. Um, it's really good too. Especially really with too. Tired. Especially with Tired Hillary. <laughs> Blue! Blue! Blue. Um, but again, I think... It was yellow. I think why it's not higher is because of the fun that I had yeah. with all of you playing the other games. Mm -hmm. Again, I really, really enjoyed this game. I would like to play it more. Yeah. I'd like to play it with two people. I'd like to play it with more than three people. Like, I'm just like, oh, I'm very fascinated by this. But mm -hmm. again, we only played it a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, super fun. And what I will say... No, go for it. What I will say about those... I was like, <laughs> this is my out. YouTube channel now. We're just hanging you out. You talk enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're just hanging out. <laughs> Um, what I by will force. say about those, and, and Coup as well, which is obviously higher on my list because I haven't said it. I also played Coup before this and never played Cockroach Poker or mm. Hanabi. Like both would be great, like road trip, travel, mm. games. That's why I love um, Banana Grimes as well, which is not on the list because we didn't play it. Yeah, but I it, played yeah. it before and really, really like it. Um, though I've been told never to play it with you. so No, I you scale. Didn't. I scale. I you scale do. Everything. I know. But he actually bought Banana Brought bananagrams, and I also brought bananagrams, but neither of us played it. Yeah. Um, but they I like each other out. It's so. true. Um, but what I like about those is the travelability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with yeah. them, it's and, it's and it's really genuinely compact. both fun. Yeah. yeah. So and coup. I, I just haven't yeah. said coup yet. I think I think um, the thing with Hanabi too. What like when we played it, uh, we also might have been more in the mood for a social game, like a, like a more a more social game, right? Like Reading we played it after room. a show. Uh, I think we did, or I forget when we played it, but but it because yeah, that, the night before, because you After don't, that night, yeah. yeah, because you don't, um, because you don't talk during it, right? You can only give specific clues, and it's a very focused game that I think uh, might might have contributed, but I don't know. About I that. also feel like 
we 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 stopped playing just as we got over Understood. the learning yeah. curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think if we had True. continued to play a couple more rounds, we would have found our groove and been like, oh, there That's it is. It. Yeah, yeah, but totally. we just got over the hump of like, this is how the game works. works. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, I think that's why. That's Agreed. Why cool. Yeah. All right, number eight, right? Number eight, that was yeah. your number eight? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm losing, I'm immediately losing track between, yeah. because we're going to, well, yeah. is, it's basically going to be the same games with a couple exceptions. Yeah. So I played one with Hillary that you didn't play, and I played two mm -hmm. with you that Hillary didn't play. Yeah. So. Uh, so Hillary, what's next? So after Cockroach Poker, so your number eight, seven. Your seven, yeah. Is... Is kind of an is, you're, you're deciding right now because there's a tie. No, it's you can not say an a tie, official like, tie. It's it's a very close with my number six mm -hmm. is one night werewolf. Oh, uh, <laughs> so just, Chris brought this because I said oh no God. Avalon <laughs> because I'm triggered for like six seven years. I did enjoy it. <laughs> I put it in front of Hillary's screen now. So oh, yeah. It's yes. Now that it's hers. I did me. enjoy it. I love the concept of the game. Um, I love how different it can be. And once again, tiny, tiny game. It could be different every single time with, like, the troublemaker and the tanner and, like, adding all the different characters into it. Um, what I like about it is that it was, like, a quick Avalon in terms of... Yep. Rounds are only five minutes. The rounds are only five minutes. It's quick and dirty. Everyone here had a great time. The first three rounds, I was the werewolf. <laughs> and the only werewolf. <laughs> and the only werewolf. And then the first two times we played. So also, I was foolish. And the first time I, I didn't, I understood the concept of all of the different, like, characters. It was the warm-up round. It was the warm-up round. Yeah. But I also didn't listen enough of, like, what order they went in. So I also didn't decide because the werewolf gets called first in the app. I didn't decide who else it was just my strategy was off but i had a really good time and it was just unfortunate my first three rounds were <laughs> the werewolf i was the werewolf and i was the only werewolf and though i'm an actor i am a horrible liar and the no matter worst. what yeah we opened yeah. our eyes we're like hey hillary's the werewolf did anybody <laughs> switch her <laughs> and no matter what and it's the same thing with avalon too because i know like renee and other people have said like i come off as evil no matter what because i just sit there and smile no matter what because i'm just like ah and i'm triggered because avalon hashtag Avalon PTSD. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but I, I really like it. And once again, very travelable. And yeah. And I like, I like the little visual components of it too. And the little chips make it easier to keep track of things. Yeah. yeah and so there's not really a lot of, you kind of need one warm up round. And then you're like, okay, I get it. And then it's just switching your strategy and gaining more understanding of the game. Love it. So that was your number seven? Yes. Just just below your number six. Yeah. Which we'll get to in a second. What's your number seven? One Night Werewolf? I thought it might now, be. Now, saying this, uh, why it's number... Because I had a hard time between this and Hanabi. Hanabi. Mm -hmm. I think overall, if we had played Hanabi more, it yep. would be number seven. What I liked about why uh, One Night Werewolf is where it is, is because of the experience of playing it with... Uh, the four of you. So Connor, mm -hmm. who is our other castmate, we also played all together. We were also at a cottage. We were at a cottage. So it was, it was nice. just very, very fun. It was just very, very funny. And so I think it was more actually the experience as opposed to the game itself, yeah. which gets mm -hmm. it into spot seven. Cool. Yeah. No. That, and that's it too, right? Like it, these, a lot of a lot of these I brought for their social element yeah. as well, and and like because I find it provides for a lot of what I what I call like above the table interaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and, and that's that's what I look for in in, in quite a few. But it, it's also interesting. Well, it's it's exciting to me that like a few of the others that I know have less above the table action, and and the mm -hmm. ones that I thought would be like super hits, it, you you connected with the mechanics of the ones mm -hmm. uh, that that are moving forward that are going to be a, a head on the list a little bit mm -hmm. more. So um, that's that's exciting to me that that it is the the mechanical elements of it yeah. that that if you find accessible games that uh, have those mechanics, people like sinking their teeth into that puzzle. Kind of what you were saying, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you played more of the puzzle of Hanabi, it it probably would have usurped One Eye Werewolf. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but this the experience kind of trumped it. Yeah. But, yeah. And and because my experience with One Night Werewolf after, after I you wasn't stopped being the werewolf, the werewolf <laughs> and the only werewolf um, almost slid it into sixth place. Mm. But there were some other things that happened at my number six. Cool. But, 
I'm just confirming, cool. Megan, your experience. Mm -hmm. Cool. Love it. You're so happy. Uh, right this now. is great. I'm, ha I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm worried it's going to fall over. Oh, we can adjust oh, yeah. it. All right. All right. Moving on. Number six, Hillary. Hillary says. They're all over there. Number six is Veiled Fate. Ooh. Okay, cool. I, I like. This might be here. This is the one that Megan didn't play. I didn't play this one. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's. Yeah, we can keep it in front of me. We'll keep it in front of me. I was just going to show the back, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Um, we got, I got to play this with um, Chris's parents. That's true. There were so, six of us. We did finally a six-player game because I had wanted to play that. And there, there will be a review for this coming out fairly shortly now. I feel I've, I've played it at that team level, so now I feel like I've seen it at enough. Uh, player counts to give a to give a good description. Yeah, but what's your thoughts? What's your review? Hillary? Well, and once again, it's like very much tied with One Night Werewolf. And now I'm like, oh, no, I was more excited to talk about One Night Werewolf. So oh, maybe it's like a maybe, maybe it's, this is seven. And One Night Werewolf is six. I mean, know? sorry, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a time now. It's yeah. six. It's true. It's six. Um, but I think it's beautiful. The game pieces are so stunning. Um, once again, like with so many of your tabletop games like each game each time you play it'll be totally different um it was bluffing but it was just the right amount of bluffing just the right of me wanting to slam my head against the table out of frustration for having no idea if chris is telling me the truth or not he's not he never is um to the point that i thought i think this is why it slid into number six because i was like oh genetics dna chris's father I was convinced very early on that we were both the same color. Yellow, actually, ironically. Is that irony? You know. Um, <laughs> hilariously. Um, and he was on Chris's team. And I was like, the Georgia's got me again. Uh, yeah, so Ve Veiled Fate, you just to describe it, because it, this one is sort of a newer game. It yeah. hasn't been out uh, as much. Uh, so I will describe it for a little bit. You all play gods, and you have basically a color of god that you want to win. You want that god to have the most points at the end of the game. Uh, but you can basically manipulate any god to go up and down the track. And so the, the bluffing element comes in is, am I moving this green piece up because I'm green? Or am I moving the green piece up so you think I'm green so then I can sneak yellow ahead, right? Yeah. That's, the, that's the general overarching uh, nature of the game. And so with two to five players, you play it, everybody has their own role. But with six to eight players, everybody has a teammate mm -hmm. as well. So there cool. are nine total colors that you can move and manipulate. And so that way there's always some out there. And I liked it being on the team. I actually liked because there were more dummies that mm. we can, uh, you can move around. And it, 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 in theory, should help people hide a little bit sooner. Although yeah. in, our, in our game, we kind of just all were like, let's just move all of our <laughs> things up the track. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just me taking the heat for green that let my dad, nobody noticed my dad just kept moving green. So I knew my dad was on my team all, like the whole time. I know. But I was just like, okay, I'll play you interference. Fooled, and then, me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But lo lots of fun. There was something else I was going to say and now I've forgotten it. That's it. If you if you remember, we can come back. It's okay. Well, that's Veiled Fate. Yeah, I really I really like Veiled Fate. Again, that's I brought that for the above the table interaction. I remembered what I was going to say. What were you going to say? What I I just forgot again. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to edit this all out. You have to edit this all out. That's staying in. Keeping it's all 100 in. 100% in. staying in. I do. What I liked about Veiled Fate. There it is. Bing bang bong. I'm gonna have a sip of this coffee. You just remembered you forget. I did. What? Oh no! I forgot. What I was gonna say about Veiled Fate is that I think had I had the opportunity to play it more than once, mm. it I would have enjoyed it even even more. Here, I'm actually gonna clear these. Well, let's put these beside you. So that, yeah. That's okay. How? That's your number six, Megan. Your number six. My number six. I have a guess. Oh, is uh. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was my guess. So back. Mm. So this is the one that, that you and I played uh, together. Yes. Hillary and I haven't played it because mm. it's only a two-player game. However, with this game, <laughs> in my heart, it is very high up because I beat Chris <laughs> in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, I 
beat Christopher in this game, and it felt so good that I wanted to have a smoke <laughs> and a whiskey afterwards. <laughs> she was thrilled, I, I can confirm. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And he the came best part running is out to me. He to just gave me really the did. win. Yeah. Because I you started very and the more <laughs> you kept God. making these moves yeah. that gave me points. That were and just you, so bad. <laughs> and the more frustrated you got, the more I like the more you made me win. And I just sat back and was just like, Yeah, buddy, all right, I will I'll take this card. I'll do this. So so back for two, I'll also talk about this just just briefly because uh, I think it's it, it, uh, yeah, I know it's a it's a bad box cover. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's we'll bad. It's a bad. That. It's a bad box uh, placement. Um, I'll talk about this briefly as well because mm. it's just just recently it's by Pandasaurus, who I think have been producing a lot of great stuff. It's by the designer of King Domino. Uh, mm. If that means something to you, uh, you've played King Domino, yeah. yeah. And so the scoring mechanics are fairly simple. You're you're collecting fairly similar to King Domino as well. You're collecting tiles. And then you're scoring, your score is basically the number of tiles you've collected by the number of symbols on those tiles. So some tiles will have like three symbols on them, some will have zero, and so you want to collect those but also get more of that type. Um, and then you are just playing on this grid where, where wherever you take, that then determines the selection of two tiles or more that your opponent can take. So it's a little like tactical, tactical game back and forth. Um, and it I, looks so cute! The art's, it's great. The art's it's, really great. Yeah. I, I find that uh, it's, I, I just was remembering how bad I was at it. Oh, it was amazing <laughs> to watch. Yeah, I, I drew, there are these tiles, then they get they let you choose what move your opponent should next make. Yeah. And so I just picked the optimal move for making. So I used this power, the special power, to give her the thing that was obvious that she should have been taking anyway. Yeah. Um, and I looked, I was like, are you one of you? You're like, that's what I want I you like, to do. Yeah, and I was like, that's the thing. So, okay, so this the is, answer is blue. Yeah. Like, so, so I'm going to just get sell this points for, you know, now. And yeah. Nine points. Oh, so, I was so like, amazing. Oh, yeah. It felt so yeah. good. So yes, that's my, that's my number six. Yeah. yeah. I, I like its placement in this. I, I, I like this game. I think I need to play it a few more times yeah. to really... I do um, think it's a fun two-player game. Yeah, it just like it didn't have the the excitement factor. I think as a, as a few of the other games have. Mm. Uh, at least that's that was what I was feeling okay. when we were playing it. I don't know, okay. but we uh, we well, only played that one. you were losing. That was probably good. Yeah. No, I like I like losing. So <laughs> I was like I couldn't believe it at the end. I was like, oh yeah, no, I just gave you that point. Yeah. Oh, just gave you that. Yeah. Which but, I was um, happy. I've never won that. I've played that twice so far. I played it once with Zach, once with Megan. I've never, I've never won it. So yes. it's horrible. It's a bad no. game. No, just kidding. All right, nice number six. Number now six. on to the now Ooh, on to the top five. Top the cream five. of the crock. The cream of the crock. Uh, to so Absolutely not. So it's a crocodile. All right, Hillary, start talking. <laughs> Coo, number five. Who's number five? Whoa! I played Coo several mm -hmm. times. I played Coo for years. Um. I think the more you play Coup, the higher it yeah, rises. I yeah, see. and it was, it's just like, it's just a gooder. It's just, for all the reasons that we said, it's travelable. Um, I feel like, I guess I played Coup after I had played like Dominion and Seven Wonders and like, you know, I Ticket to Ride, Pandemic, like, yeah. had a fair amount of experience, yeah. but this one, like, just, it's also an easy if you don't have much time. Yeah. It's, yeah, but it, oh, it scratches an itch. Yeah. And the Contessa is just such a babe. Oh. <laughs> so, Totes. Number five. Totes. Nice. Cool. Yeah, good one. We've talked about Coup a lot. I won't, won't yeah. say anything. I just, I like it as a lunchtime game. Yeah. Especially, right? Yeah. Like that's. Or like my family at Christmas will often play mm. Coup because like my folks are like Clue, Monopoly, the board games we grew up on. But like. Yeah, that's the. That's yeah, Coup. Nice, nice. Yeah. Sweet. Nice number five. Number five. My number five is. I thought it was going to be that. Yes! I know your order. <laughs> I, you know, it's a fun one. You don't know. I'm, I'm okay. I should have written know. it down to. Yeah. You know, I guess this. This bad boy. Dirt, 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 dirt. dirt, dirt. I'll talk about this later. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or we can yeah. talk about it now. So we'll top five. Uh, number five. It is. Um, Socially, my time playing it with people, oh yeah, so playing no, it with uh, people was super, super fun. We, I played it sober, I played it drunk. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. Um, and it was, it was great. It took me like, I think two times playing it to be like, okay, no, this is what we're doing. Like it took me a minute 
especially the first time we played, it took me a minute to get into it. But once I did, I was like, no, this is really fun. And, and there's so many really different strategies. You can yeah, do and changing it every time we played, and I just think it's super. Uh, yeah, I had a really great time. I think it's a great game. I enjoyed playing it with everyone, and I would, uh, I would buy this and play it again. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. That's really exciting to me. Yeah. Uh, it also helps that this this is one that Hillary also requested I bring uh, because she loves it. I love thieves. And she instituted her dirt rule. Dirt, 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 dirt. So okay, so which the, makes the game literally fifty oh, percent more fun. So instantly better. Yeah. What I will yeah. say. So thieves is my number four. And it could have been oh, higher nice. up. Yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going right and it could it, yeah. and it could have been higher on my list. Thebes is probably my favorite board game, um, be, purely because so like years ago at Matt's house, I just started when other people were pulling from the bags. I just started screaming dirt at them. So if you uh, don't know the premise of the game, oh, some yeah. people may you not know it. You oh, um, just, just quickly, you're archaeologists. As well. And you are going on excavations, so you have these five different just, sites just a cool idea where anyways. you can pull pull things from a bag. You're going to be pulling tokens. You're going to choose how much time you spend pulling those tokens in the in-game sort of time currency. There's a time track around the board. And uh, you are hoping to pull relics that are good, but there's also like 51% of the tokens in there are just, are just dirt. dirt. So you want to be screaming, dirt, 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 dirt. dirt, dirt. dirt. Every time somebody's pulling stuff yeah. out of a bag. You know bag. what? This is, this is what I want. Like, if you... I want to start a movement. If yeah. you play Thebes yeah. and you're yelling dirt at people, because I've never heard of anyone else doing this. Yeah. I'm sure other people do. Other people do. I'm sure other people do. But, like, tag Chris or me on Instagram because <laughs> I want to see it. Because <laughs> literally true. in our group of friends that play board games together now, everyone does yeah. it. It's so fun. It makes yeah. it so much better. Our stage manager, Andrew, bless him. The very first time we played it... <laughs> He was in Crete, I think. Yeah. And Mesopotamia. Uh, oh, no, it was Mesopotamia. One, the blue one. Yeah. Right? The blue yeah. One. yeah. Mesopotamia. Because he kept going, Mesopotamia, I'm ready to be hurt again. <laughs> um, I He pulled, he pulled like nine, nine and dirt. it was all Nothing dirt. Nothing dirt. It was so good. And it was like he was the first one to go oh. there, too. So luckily yeah. he had, you know, whenever you're the first archaeologist there, you get the one point token. It was pretty yeah. amazing. It was great. Oh, oh, it felt good. But yeah, so like Thebes... <laughs> I think is my only complaint with Thebes is you can only play it with four people. Yeah, you can play two to you. You can play two to four, but uh, no, but you can't play more than four. Oh yeah, you can't. Oh, yeah. I've been in circumstances right. with five people that yeah. I've been like, can we play Thebes? Right. And and it's just different every time, and it's hard. But like the reason why this isn't any higher on my list is because there were other board games that I liked, and I didn't want to like make Thebes my number one. You could have. It is in my heart. I think it also helped that your second game you really. Really I wasn't even, we played it, I think that was our third game. Oh, yeah, maybe. The last time we played it was the worst game of Thebes I've ever played in my entire Thebes career. <laughs> it was, Chris literally Her looked at me. On what? the competitive Thebes circuit. What happened? No, she just didn't draw anything. I oh, yeah! Never, and I yeah. was going to do, uh, like, the the government cards, what are they? Were they're, like, victory points. Yeah, that the, the sets more, that you're collecting. The sets? Yeah, but... Yeah, the, Megan kept stealing. I, I had yeah. like two or three. I thought I was on a roll and then very quickly was usurped. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. I just pulled dirt, well which is the fun bit of Thebes. Yeah. like it, I even had the blimp to help yeah. me. <laughs> I had, I was helpless. Help yeah. No. And that's, and that's part of the, part of this game too, right? Like it, it's, you can do everything right and then you can just get unlucky. And that's yeah. what some, some push your luck games, games are. Mm. And that's what the random ele yeah. element, element to it means. But that also is what makes it fun because you, you can you don't have to take it too seriously. Yeah. You yeah. can just scream at each other, dirt, 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 yeah. and you see yeah. who draws, who pulls the best. Basically, so right? on the dirt subject, and then I will allow us to move on. No, and no, I just need to. I need. I need to talk to my friends for a second. Okay, okay. This is gonna. That's um, fine. We'll just put it. Okay. In. No one so, but like, it. you can just go like dirt, 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 and that's what people often do. But I found more success when you like mix up the rhythm of dirt. Oh it's yeah, like dirt, 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 dirt. You just want some dirt. So so dirt, dirt. With it. That's some strategy tips yeah. from a competitive yeah. Thebes player. <gasps> yeah. Unfortunately, there's, Thebes isn't in the World Series of board gaming. But uh, well, maybe it should be. Can you send them in? I'll, I'll work on it. <laughs> I won't be in the World Series of board gaming for Thebes or anything. But well, you'll be invited as the pre preeminent Thebes scholar. Honestly, of this though, century. I should be, and I should be the one there. <laughs> Someone pay me, pay me to go to Vegas and scream dirt at people playing Thebes. <laughs> Or just anyone in the tournament. I don't. I think you get a lot of weird emails now. I can't wait. Bring them on, people. Anyways, that's number four. All right, that's your number four. 
Megan, what's uh, your number four? My number four is uh, Sheriff of Nottingham. Yeah, this the game uh, is so fun. And we also played this at the cottage. We played this where at we the cottage. Night Werewolf. And things got we played it twice very, in a row, very silly. Very weird and great and silly. Weird yeah. and silly. And uh, I think out of the bluffing games, this is... This is my favorite. That's your favorite. Yeah, it's really. Now, what really what makes this one uh, other than Connor's little boy? I think it was. Con uh, <laughs> I wish you could film an insert of Connor doing the voice. Just look, you, you don't need to look in the bag. So it's just four apples. You see, me mum's got the plagues uh, again, and my dad's died in the war. The roses. I don't know why. I just. I just really had a, I had a great time playing it mm -hmm. with everyone. Uh, I have not laughed that hard in a very long yeah, time. We a lot. Um, yeah. And I just because I think that you can bluff, but you also don't have to bluff. Like I yeah. feel with the other games, you are bluffing no matter what. Whereas this one, you can be honest the entire game mm -hmm. yeah. and still win. Mm -hmm. Or you can bluff the entire game and, and win. Still, or yeah. you can do a bit of both. And you can feel your way out as you're as you're going around. You can like kind of decide if you want to bluff more, if you want to bluff less. Like yeah. how are you feeling and how other time. people are picking up on things and playing. You can change a little bit more. So I think that's why I uh, really enjoyed it. Nice. Yes. Cool. Good number there four. Number four. I'm My pretty sure three is it's number the, is this? Yeah, hey! three. <laughs> I liked it for all of the exact. It's like for a bluffing game. As someone who hate, like, sorry, I don't want to say I hate bluffing games because that's also not true. But like, well, they just aren't your favorite. Yeah, right? they're not my favorite. They make me quite anxious. Um, I'm a good girl. I am. Um, <laughs> Should have made that my. I'm. I'm very happy. I have that. There I'm yes. gonna make that my ringtone. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, gonna be my alarm. Dear. Good morning. Good morning. Um, also, honorable mention. Yeah, so, oh my god, it's so. just me. <laughs> just me apples and in. And me cheeses. I mean, just me apples all this time. Just, just me apples all yeah, the time. So yeah, so yeah, for all the same reasons. And like, I feel like you and I had said, Megan, not Chris, make no mistakes. No. Um, we had such a, a good thing going because at a certain point I was like, just looked at her and I trust her. I don't trust Chris. Uh, I would just be like, if I don't look in this, because I had a feeling she was bluffing, I was like, if I don't look in this, you need to swear to me that next round you don't look at. And even then, I think I only bluffed like one thing. Yeah. I look. I, I but don't making think I ever like won. deals and stuff, like yeah. I felt more comfortable um, making. Yeah, whereas I was like, we're gonna, I'm with you, so we're yeah. just like, here's your pass. Put whatever the fuck you want yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I really liked it. Cool. That's, and like that you that's put little it's all the things. It's, it's cool. Fun. Yeah, I don't know. There's a prop. I it. Yeah. Yeah. I like I'm, I yeah. like the I like that you liked it so much. I I think um, I'm I'm really happy that this is super high up because it, it's super high up for me. I think with the right group, sheriff can be really good. Yeah. Uh, if you if you're willing to get silly, there used to be an amazing app that no longer exists, which t would count, I want us count to like down record it. That, Someone contact Actra. Let's the, do it. <laughs> that there would be these little shout outs like I think he's lying as it would go like, along, and and it would just add to this sort of sense of fun. So I think if you're willing to make those deals above the table mm -hmm. and to like try to wheel and deal, yeah. and not just take it. Okay, I'm gonna open, gonna not open. Yeah. Like again, it has that above the table interaction, but there's a lot you can do with it because you can you can tell the truth and you can try to convince people you are aren't telling the truth yeah. when you are telling the truth. And so it gives and a lot of layers. I tricked Chris at a certain point too. <laughs> Probably, like he was like yeah. a couple times you're like yeah, you did. oh yeah you're telling me the truth and I was like I wasn't <laughs> I am evil as you. I will also say too like I've heard a lot about Sheriff over the years and then for right, some reason played not it. played it. Yeah. Um so I was just also really excited to play it. Which was surprising. Yeah we ended up playing this twice like back to back mm -hmm. because yeah. everybody was enjoying themselves so yeah. much. Yeah. Um yeah, there's there's a lot of fun that can be had yeah. with uh, with sheriff. It also happened after one night werewolf, so I was just so happy to move along you from really being were. a werewolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah the the possibility for deals and, and interesting things that can happen. Like you were trying to convince Connor to open my bag, yeah. mm -hmm. and then and then I said, listen, Connor, okay, if you open my bag, you're gonna get. Uh, one bread. I was trying to sneak one mm -hmm. bread in there, so I'll I'll give you that bread. It's worth three coins, 
and as long as you give it back. So you get more if you don't open it. He's like, yeah, okay. And then I opened it. It was actually cheese and not bread. So I was able to sneak that and a contraband in. And that was yeah. that. That That's ended good. up winning me that game too. Yeah. yeah. Or else Connor would have won. So yeah. like the- Connor's character for this is like, <laughs> so it's good. Like, oh, there weren't no apples in it. May so. <laughs> like- <laughs> yeah, I'll, we'll do Very an good. insert. We'll do, we'll do an insert for him. Um, Okay, yeah, you're number three. My number three. My number three is... Dice. Oh, Mm. I thought this might be your number one. No. I was hoping it might be your number one, but that's cool that it's... So again... uh, Uh, Hillary didn't play this one. I didn't. No thibs! We'll just just get it off the... We'll just put it beside her. Um, I love Yahtzee. I love Yahtzee. We're good. Yeah, yeah. okay. So I love Yahtzee very Mm -hmm. much. Um, So that's how... Uh, Christopher convinced me to play this. Yeah, I said it's Battle said Yahtzee. Battle Yahtzee. Um, and yeah, it's, again, it took me like one one round to kind of be like, okay, now I get it, now I like it, let's do this. Um, and we, we played four times. Yeah. Um, and I won, and this was the first time I beat Chris. So, yeah. um, Sobek was Two the second times. time I beat him. This is the first time I beat him, and again, just a smoke and a whiskey. <laughs> like, I... Was this the one you ran to me about yes, that? I okay, ran sorry. to Apologies, you. Apologies, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't first so thing out of my mouth to everyone was just like, I'd be Chris in a board game. Mm-hmm. And, like, it just fills my heart and my loins with so many good things. <laughs> so that is why it's uh, very high up. Also, it's, like, super fun. Um, and... Yeah, I think it's a really great two-player game. Yeah. Um, I think it would be really great with more people, but I think it's a really fun two-player game. I'm ex- I would like to play this again and play a couple more characters. We just played two characters. Yeah, we played the... Uh, I was Barbarian twice, and you were Moon Elf twice, yeah. and then we swapped, yeah. and, and I was Moon Elf, and you were Barbarian yeah. twice. Yeah, it's a good way to play um, Yeah, I also found that... Yeah, that was fun. Mm-hmm. You, just, you just beat me. Anyways, we won't get into it. Um, I won. I won one. I won, won one. That's you all that won. matters. You, you won the closing yeah, one. I won the closing you, you one. That's it. all that's great. But you also, it's really... Um, pretty. It's really pretty. And, and yeah, it's... I, I kind I, this is addic- this is where I started getting addicted I was like I could play I could totally spend yeah, all that, my playing that's this. why I was hoping that I was your number yeah. one because I knew I could sense that sense and like this was also my first time playing Dice Throne I, yeah. I just got this at Breakout Con I got it in the bring and buy for 20 bucks uh and and so I was very excited because I've heard only great things about Dice Throne and uh and so playing it, I can see the addictive nature, and it's easy to just go, I ah, just one more. Yeah, ah, just, just one more, more right? Just one more. And then you're, if, if you're going to play one the, thing. I think that was the, the round, the last round where I won. It was totally like, like I was like, just, because it was, I think it was late too, and I was like, yeah. one more. We're going to, we're going to do a thing. We're yeah. going to. Yeah. And then I won! <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I just had a great time. It, it's beautiful. It's fun to play. The characters are great. I think it's a great two-player game. I have no doubt it'd be a great three to four player game and uh yeah i just had a really great time the only even difference... though i was just playing with you i still had a good time <laughs> see that's that's a pretty good testament pretty good. um I hate him. <laughs> the only the only difference with, with when it's more players is that you roll a dice to determine who gets attacked yeah, yeah. right and so i i find my fear with that and i think what i've heard about it is that uh because you're rolling dice and it's random like it's it's random to make it a little bit more first so you can't team up on someone mm-hmm. and knock them out but you still could just get Two people targeting yeah. you and not not one. Yeah. So in a four player, you actually play two like two versus two like oh. teams. So I think like four would probably be better than three, three because yeah. I I think that balance of like fighting yeah. back and forth feels feels good. Or if you have four people, you just take the characters and you just have two two v two games and then yeah. you face off of each other in like oh. in like a tournament style. I think would be yeah. would be a potential better oh, uh, be fun. right like yeah, and then yeah, yeah. and then the, the losers would face each other yeah, as well yeah. right and then you oh, see who's fun. who's the big winner yeah. or whatever. Um, that oh now now I want to do that now Yay. I do want to do that anyway yeah that's nice run we'll just clear it off the thing now we're on to our number twos and I think I think you'll have the same number two and I think I'll have the same number one that's my bet okay so you have to say of if it's games the same you can play over and over again and this was a really tough decision to make but I opted for my number one being a game I had never played before versus a game that I loved. So my number two is DB Dutch Blitz. Yeah! Is that your number two as well? It's my number two. Number two! <laughs> oh, is it frozen? Oh, no. Oh, we're no, good. no, we're no, good. No. This, okay. is just, this is just a, a monitor. Got you. Number two. Dutch Blitz. Oh. Dual number two. That means we got a dual number we're one. Yeah. Number one. I love Dutch Blitz. We played Dutch Blitz until... 
Technically 4.30 in the morning, I think. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. No, it's like 4.45. It was 4.45. Okay. We played Dutch Blitz till almost 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Or 9. Yeah. And just Dutch Blitz. Dutch, and yeah. just Dutch Blitz. I love Dutch Blitz. It's, it's so good. It's so fun. I am awful at it. <laughs> I am awful at it. Mm. And I still... It's so good. Love it. And unbelievably <laughs> addictive. I think also because I am bad at it. <laughs> I just like one more round, one more round. I have yeah. to get better. That was but how I, just I became keep getting good at worse. Dutch Blitz. Yeah. yeah, yeah, awful at it, but it's so much fun. But I think that's a, I think that is a, a tell for a really great game. Is Absolutely. even though I suck at it and I never win, I never come close to winning. I'm still having a great time and I still want to play. Mm -hmm. And so I just it's so fun. This was also another one that I requested Chris bring because mm -hmm. I have. Oh yeah, because you have. The, I was like, wait, mine's green. Yeah, I just had like a moment. Right. Yeah, I I have it at home, and I forgot to bring it, and I messaged Chris. I was like, you need to bring Dutch Blitz yeah. with you because it's just like a quintessential cottage game. I'm glad that we didn't. We only played it one time at lunch because I was like, I don't want to only play Dutch Blitz for half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Because especially because I don't play it like even once a month usually. So when I play it, I want to. You want, yeah, I, I, keep I have no problem. Like, I like playing a whole variety of different games and at, at a game night, but often mm. I know if we start playing Dutch Blitz, That's all you you're, can. you're done. You're done. Yeah. You're not playing another game. You're no, playing this playing until Dutch everyone's Blitz. too tired. Yeah. And even then, you're playing it for three more hours. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, there, there's been several occasions in my life where it's been like 2 a.m., we're all exhausted. I'm like, one more round. Yeah. Like, just keep yeah. going. Yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah, yes. I love it. It's so fun. Oh, that's great. Really For those who don't know, it's hard. Speed Solitaire. That's all it is. <laughs> and I didn't even grow up playing Solitaire. I just oh, no, I it's, love it, Solitaire. Oh, yeah, do you? And then you I just, just uh, oh, yeah. I grew up playing it, but I, I find it... I'm not excited to play solitaire. I'm ex very yeah. excited to play that. It's right. fast-paced fun for everyone. It really is. It is a wonderful goot game. Oh, that's absolutely the, not. That's, edit that out. That's the tagline. No, line. I know, but still. It says no, it. I know. And you, you, you just, didn't have to. You didn't have to. We'll edit that out in the post. You all maybe like him, but we do. I'm not. just kidding. I do. I like him. I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna edit that out in post. <laughs> okay, Dutch Blitz is is dead and gone. It's burned. Never. The number one game is a tie between the two of you. Because I know, because it's what we're what we're waiting what for. What we played last night. Splendor. Again. Splendor. Splendor. This is number one for both. Yeah. See, I, I figured it was going to be your number one. I, I was hoping Dice Throne would be your number one. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Just because I, I I had a great time yeah. with Dice Throne. And I think also for me, I, I like learning new games. So Dice Throne might have been my number one. Uh, because, because I yeah. because I played Splendors like so right. so much, yeah. uh, and Dice Throne was new yeah. and 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 a new experience, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. I like I really enjoyed the, those games yeah. we played. That was the, a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, but we're not talking about Dice Throne. We're talking about Splendor. Splendor. Why, Hillary? Why do you like Splendor? So this is your you hadn't played this before. I well, hadn't played this hadn't before. Played this I had heard of it. I've always heard good things. Um, and this was the first game that we played on this contract. Yep. You and I. I was like, okay, we have some time. Teach me a game, Chris. And he like brought a few options to me and explained them all. And I was like, I think we should play Splendor. And then we have probably played Splendor a dozen times. We've, I think we've played this one the most. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I can check yeah. the, the stats, but I f I'm fairly certain it's like eight or nine. Like uh, plays in the last 30 days, 11 of Splendor. Mm, yeah. Got you. So we played yeah, it 11, 11, times, 11 times. And one of those times was just you and I. Yeah, I think so we played it twice on our own. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, all yeah. That to, it doesn't matter. But like, it was cool because it was the first board game that you and I played on mm -hmm. the contract. Um, yeah, it's an, it's, I, li I like it a lot. That's what I have to say about it. Yeah. I don't know why I like it so much. <laughs> I also don't think I could Because it, it is infuriating. And maybe it's just because you're playing with Chris. Um, because we never win. We never get close to winning. Every time we play, Hillary's always like, take, take a lap, Chris. Take a yeah, lap. Yeah, I like, always give him like he just, yeah. Give us a chance. But I want, I just want to play it all the time. I want to play it all the time. And I, I can't explain why I like it. I, I don't know. I just think it's really fun. I know that this is um, a slightly older version. Yeah. So I like the chips uh, are nice and heavy. The chips are heavy. Yeah. It's pretty. There's slightly less. There's slightly less weighted in. Yeah. In yeah. future versions, I believe. Um, again, the more that I've played, the more I'm like, oh. Every time I play, I feel like I'm adding something 
to my gameplay because I feel more comfortable. So cool. I'll start to be like, okay, now I need to like also pay attention to what Chris is doing and Hillary's mm-hmm. doing. Maybe I should try and block like pay- start focusing on like blocking them this round and then the next game i'll be like well no no i want to focus on getting all these jewels and maybe i can get uh one of the noble. cards the nobles yeah, yeah so i came so close to getting yeah. a noble a few games ago yeah, and you I just really blocked. Proud. i'm sorry <laughs> um Jesus. well i couldn't you would have won i know <laughs> yeah this game frustrates me to no end but i just i love it i just did so yeah. fun and i will play it all the time i and again i think it's also a good like it's not too short it's not too long. Even if you played one round, it's very satisfying. It's like half an hour, yeah. or 40 minutes if you're really yeah. taking your time. But yeah. short yeah. enough yeah. that you could play two or three rounds. Yeah. Which we I pretty much that. did almost every time, yeah. I think, yeah. right? Every time we got it. That's why we got so many plays is because yeah. we're like, okay, well, let's just well, do another well, round. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, I just and, I and love it so, and I'm looking for it. If there is a, a cheaper, older version out there, guys, send it my way, please. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll find I'll find you one. Thank you. I'll find you one. I also want one. Do you want one? I'll, yeah. I'll find you two. I'll I'll find you two. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> yeah. We'll and send then, you yeah. feet pics of him if you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's our that's, new That's joke. our that's, new... That's, that's Patreon. It's Patreon exclusive. Patreon. 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 Yeah, exclusive. exactly. Uh, let us know if you want that content and we'll find it. <laughs> we will it. figure it out. We'll find, we'll his find it. His feet, though, not ours. No. Just his. But they're a vibe. What I also like about Splendor is that you can... It, every every round is so different. You can never yeah. have the same strategy. So, yeah, yeah, and and I think it also is 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 another telling element that um, I I I did win every game. No, but that that you that you, you wanted to. I, yeah. I know there's no way to say that without me sounding obnoxious. No. But, <laughs> but but I think it is it is a telling element that like you still wanted to continue to play it yeah. and you were finding these discoveries. Yes. Which for me, like watching and, and hearing, because I, I like talking through through the choices of the game. I like when people are talking talking through their choices and, and debriefing after the very first time that we played, Chris and I, like I just said all of my thoughts out loud as they were happening. And he was like, I'm so happy like, about this. Why do you like playing with me? Because I say nothing. <laughs> you do. You no. do say yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's true. You do say nothing. Uh, but it's all on my face. <laughs> <laughs> but when when the thing happens, then there's a big reaction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go, Damn it. Or like, yes, yeah. I got it. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, but but I think also seeing those, the progression of those discoveries and like, and the both mm-hmm. of you interacting with like these mechanics has been, has been, has made like I really enjoy Splendor. I I think it's better than the things that have killed Splendor. I think this is better than Century Golem, for example. Like that, I, I like this a heck of a lot more. Um, for those of you who have heard of heard that that is like a Splendor killer, uh, I find that like I still keep returning to this, and I've played this a lot. Like this has got to be it's a well worn game. It's a well worn box. Yeah. This was like one of the first ones I added to my collection when I first played it. Again, we had that same. We played five games in a row. Mm-hmm, right, yeah. like it—it it, it was that, like, okay, yeah, let's figure this out and let's keep on yeah. going, and and, and I, I still keep coming back to it, and it's one of those that, like, I don't often grab when I'm when I'm at home because there are right. other things that I want to to sure. play either for the channel yeah. or for or for like the learning new games. Right, I'm always trying to, Makes trying sense. to learn, yeah. learn yeah. more and more, but having having this here, I I didn't. I, I enjoyed every single one of those. We plays really as well. made you. Play. Yeah, we played a lot of. And, and even, a whole bunch yeah, of and even yeah, even though I I also was like trying to push on them. I'm like, well, we could play something new. And we're like, no, Splendor. Like, okay, Splendor. But I still enjoyed it, even though uh, even though I was I was hoping to play some yeah. some newer ones uh, that that were perhaps new to me. But that, but also I I recognize too that uh, for some of the ones that are newer to me. They had a slightly longer time timeline, right? They're mm-hmm. about that sixty minutes, and sure, we spent sixty minutes playing two games of Splendor, but it's but you there's really something different about it. Right? it. Yeah, you yeah. got to, yeah. yeah. You you get to you, yeah, it's a different feeling. You yeah. say, it's easier to say, okay, one more round rather than being forced to Brand play new. that sort of hour. And especially hour if long. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, right. Blues are yellow, and yellows are blue. I think there also came a point where I like I did actually kind of give up trying to win this game, and it was more about understanding but or like my personal best so can mm. yes. i get more points yes. than the last game yeah like i'm Great. just like chris is gonna win i don't like just fine whatever have it um <laughs> I just it's fine i always say You're like right i consider it a win if i get second place to chris yeah I'm not going to beat you. Yeah. It's happened, but it's But a it's rarity. like, can I, especially yeah. if you're playing more than like one round, it's like, okay, do I increase the second and third yeah. round? Did I? Great. I feel like I'm winning now. I feel like yeah. I'm improving. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. That's number one. Um, 
they're uh, kind of going along the the like recommendations. I think I think this is so good to play so good. with with new gamers of any mm -hmm. of any sort of yeah. level of experience beforehand. Yeah. Like that's what was it really? Like, yeah. Again, I've already said it. That's what was really exciting to me is seeing it click. I don't know if I like this. This is the thing. So we played it the first time, and I was like, oh, I don't think I like this game. I just, I got really frustrated, and then I went to sleep, and I dreamt about yeah. it, and I woke up the next morning being like, I want to play it again. Like, I, <laughs> I'm uh, ready uh, to get hurt again. It just like wormed yeah. its way into my head, and was just yeah. like, this is fun, and yeah, yeah. That's mm. what I mean. Like I can't explain mm. right. yeah. why I like it so. Much. I just want to play it all the time. But I also think, and the reason why this got played so much is again that timeline, that time yeah. frame. Like you get a, a really enjoyable, like chunky ex yeah. experience where you feel like you've made a lot of yeah. meaningful decisions yeah. Yeah. in a thirty-minute time span. Yeah, it's not right? as quick as something like One Night Werewolf, but it's yeah. But the decisions that you get to make, yeah, and the, are and, significant, and yeah. the feeling. The feeling of accomplishment yes. as you get these yes, cards, yeah, right? Yeah. Like you're always getting these things like, yeah. yes, I wanted that card. I, I got, got that it. card, right? It moves yeah. at a good pace. And so I think that's also part of the draw mm -hmm. that that kept bringing us mm -hmm. back I to, think that's uh, a good description, to, yeah, to right Splendor that. as well. Well, well done. You know. Mm -hmm. um, so just quickly, we can go through the ones that I brought that we didn't get played that I was hoping to get played. We're, we're, we're going to wrap this up very, very shortly. So I'm, I'm just going to do them super brief. Yeah. Uh, First, yeah, give me give me one, Hillary. Uh, too many bones, Undertow. This this only plays two. I didn't bring this to play with people. I brought it to play by myself, and I didn't have the time. <laughs> so that's that's that that's that one. <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't oh, yeah. we didn't play this one. Uh, I I will be playing it. I was trying to get them to play the full the full like three campaign prologue. Oh, yeah. uh, this will be coming out. I will have played it by the time this video even comes out, uh, and. Uh, this will be coming out on August 30th because it's on Kickstarter August 30th. And if, if you like Deduction, if you like Hanabi, this is where Hillary was like, I'm never playing this because of her Hanabi experience. I'm like, no. <laughs> never this, say never, but this not this one. I needed to play. <laughs> Sorry. They sent it to me. Oh, nice Express <laughs> so I could have it for this contract. Um, but uh, they probably won't watch this video, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I actually am really excited to play this, and I think it's going to be. It does sound be very cool. good. Yeah, I was just fun. like, I do not have the energy. And I think for it would have been been a hit too, because it also will be in that twenty to thirty minute range, mm, yeah. right? Like I think that's 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 going to work. Um, this is a little card drafting tableau one, uh, which I I've played. The, I need to play more to to do a little review for it. Uh, when I played it at Brandon and Zach's. We, I walked away remembering that this was like the most fun experience of that night. And yet when I pull it out, I don't have the desire to teach it because I'm afraid of how it's going to land. Oh, so I wasn't pushing this one that much. No, you really weren't. No, I really wasn't pushing this. It, it does play in that sort of 30 minute range. So that's why I brought it because mm -hmm. I figured it might be, might be a good hit. But I didn't, uh, I was just trying to sense out the vibe of what, what everyone was interested in and what specific mechanics people were interested in. Um, I mean, similar to Splendor, honestly, you have like three choices. You either take a card, you buy the card, or like you get coins. Uh, but it's just a. But it's just a different. I think because we were playing Splendor so much, yeah. this one got kind of pushed yeah. to the back burner. So that's why I didn't do that one. Um, yeah, we'll go here. Uh, the Red Cathedral. Uh, I am excited to play this. I think it looks really good. I think it. Uh, I talked about it. In my best top values games. Um, he is genuinely very excited because yeah. we talked about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, because there's this cool little rondelle where you take a dice and you move it the number of pips and then you get resources and you use those resources to get points and you're building a cathedral. Uh, what prohibited this from getting to the table was the I, one I haven't played it before uh, and I, so I didn't want to necessarily mm. subject you to that initial play uh, where I'm not completely solid on the rules where I'd have to make a couple checks in the rule book as like I've read through the rule book like three or four times now because I, I wanted to make sure I was ready yeah. in case it happened but also the 80 minute time time frame uh I think you're gonna get a lot of game in this in this box but I it, it wasn't just right for the group right even though I thought it could be that was kind of like an ambitious grab I get the sense that would be maybe like a good cottage game or something when you're all sitting around and yeah. there's yeah, yeah we just didn't have enough time yeah this looks beautiful yeah, looks uh cool. yeah the production quality on night cage is really great this is a co-op game you are in you did not tell me about this I didn't he tell you me about I it. didn't tell you about it because I don't like it Oh, and <laughs> so that's why he brought it, folks. That's why I brought it because I was thought I would. I thought maybe I'd play it one more time. With I am going to play it one more time with all the modules. Um, we could play it. We could try it out. No, I, I want to play Splendor. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play. Uh, it's Blitz. it's co-op, and you're in and you're in this this cage, and you're trying to escape. Basically, I just. I'll have a full review on it. I, I'm going to play it solo with all of the variants in so I can talk about it. Um, but I don't 
want to subject oh, does anybody that mean I have to, to it. like keep watching your channel for yeah. a review. You do. You do. Yeah. I'm gonna. It's never coming out now, so that uh, Megan Brown keeps watching the channel. Uh, this is just the expansion to Red Red Cathedral, Great. which uh, I, I also want to incorporate. Oh, I'm saving something for last. Uh, and then Manhattan Project. This is another one that I haven't yet played, but I really want to. It mm. seems like fun worker placement. It does seem cool. But again, yeah. because I w I would have had Everdell as the target for the worker placement, and we yeah. never got to that sort mm. of level of game. Uh, we never ended up breaking this one out either because uh, I would have started with Everdell even though that would have taken a bit longer mm -hmm. and then moved to this. Uh, Everdell's prettier. It's prettier. Mm -hmm. Not, this still looks really good. Don't get me wrong. This still looks amazing. Don't, I'm just, you're, Everdell's you're like more your vibe though. Yeah, I like, yeah. I like animals. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, no, it's, 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 yeah. it's pretty clear. And then so this again was, was one that, that I didn't want to push because I, I, Again, it's it's all, for me. It was all about kind of feeling out the vibe mm -hmm. of seeing which games. I, I never expected to get all of the games that I brought to the table. I'm I'm very happy, happy that we yeah. got. Uh, I told Hillary I did, but I, I never did personally. Um, <laughs> that was just to push the pressure on her. Um, be, because like I think bringing a, a wide range of games where you can then feel out the vibe yeah. of the room and have some some flexibility of where of either end, you know, which way you're going to go, I, I think uh, for me was was my target when when kind of preparing this. And some of these got in here because I hadn't personally played them. And so I was ambitious and hopeful that like if, if like Everdell was a hit, then I could introduce these yeah. other couple yeah, of things, yeah. right? Smart. That's very smart. Very smart so, so I had those, but then those, those quite quickly got off the table in my mind of mm. actually being able to play mm. because... Uh, because we didn't, we didn't end up getting to that sort of length of time and level, which is fine, right? We uh, we we did other mm -hmm. things and, and it was enjoying. This is the last one. Ha -ha! Uh, last one of Bananagrams, which I'm surprised we didn't end up. I'm surprised too. Playing. But honestly, it's because Dutch Blitz took precedence in Dutch Blitz. Obviously, it's, uh, it's good. and I've also been told I love Bananagrams, but I've also been told not to play Bananagrams with Chris. So. That's true. I I do like speed I games. I do not like Bananagrams. Oh, uh, you don't? You actively don't like it? Nope. I, but I will. I love also, it even if I lose. It's a I gave, similar to Coup, so my family at Christmas will usually play like Coup, Love Letter, my brother brings Coup, I bring Love Letters, and I bought my family Bananagrams so it can like travel well, and my family likes Scrabble. Um, but uh, it's I, I like that it's so easy to carry, and I am actually not in the first 30 minutes of the show with our other castmate, Connor, Goodbye, and sir. I kept saying, okay. oh, we can play Bananagrams, <laughs> but we ended up, we endled, we, we ended up, up everyone. doing nothing but Quartal, Wordle, and Seta Quartal. So we just played other games, and we knew and the, the Semantle as well. And the Semantle, really favorite favorite word games. Yeah. So if you like those sort of word games, you can check those out as yeah. well because you've been really enjoying them. Yeah, I, I've been enjoying them for like yeah for six months, but okay. You know. Well, no, but you've been but you so yeah, you've been enjoying them over the past five weeks. Yes, too. yeah, as well. Yeah, and what's nice about those is like it's scratches the itch of Bananagrams. But Bananagrams is louder, so that was something mm. we yeah. were, mm -hmm. yeah. so that we weren't distracting from their Just performance. Just slamming back, backstage. Yeah. Anyway. Banana! Uh, peel! So hopefully, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you so much, Hillary and Megan, for hanging out with me Thanks and playing us. these games and talking about them. I was very excited to see your rankings. I, I felt out. I knew the general the general. Were um, you right? Vibe. I, I thought Megan's was going to be dice thrown because she said I think she I... said you'll be surprised and I went oh is yeah. it dice thrown <laughs> but um, yeah I didn't I should have written them out beforehand and really mm -hmm. done a done a done a true guess but uh, and then also because midway through when we'd played five games I asked you to already mm -hmm. rank those five mm -hmm. games so I knew the order of those right. sort of five mm -hmm. basically so so that's where I had a little bit of a help. Yeah. Anyway, uh, th thank you to both of you for being on the channel and, thanks for and talking about all the games. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, that was uh, potentially a, a, an interesting way to think about how to curate a collection for uh, people who, who uh, like, the title of this video is New Games Ranked by New Gamers. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like we have a spectrum yeah. of that here, yeah. right? Like, it's not, um, it, it's not to like d discredit. Or, no, or no, like I, say, like, I you're not no, gamers, no. you know what no, I mean? No. But it's... It, no, it, I'm not a board gamer. This is the most that's board true. games. That's I've played true, five, sure. I played 10 board games in five weeks. That's bananas. <laughs> that's bananas. bananas. You get mad at me. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, but like, because Hillary does have, have a... I'm, yeah. But no, you, but it's a good spectrum. It's a good yeah. spectrum. Yeah. Hillary has yeah. more, um, a, 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 a quite a bit more experience yes. uh, in, in the tabletop world. But also not. But also, you don't play it. You don't seek it out too much. Yeah. You will be an active participant. Yes. I think yes. is a good way of describing. Yes. 
Um, so if you have those people and, and well, this is, this is what worked for this group. Um, Someone please find me a splendor. <laughs> <laughs> Find me a splendor and yeah. let me know if you start screaming dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. I would dirt. also like to know. I would yes. also like to be part right. of that conversation. Yeah. That group chat. Yeah. I'm absolutely. ready to start the dirt movement. Yes. Start. You need to start an Instagram handle. Dirt. I really dirt, should. Dirt, 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 Don't stop. TM, TM, TM. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, my name is Chris George. Here we go. I don't have a cash race. Here we are. So. Here we are. Board games! Yay! Yay. It's a later. wonderful good game! Yeah, it's funny when she does it. How dare- that's, that's <laughs> so rude. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>